Welcome to the OBS and FUBAR 2000 guide, or tutorial rather. Uh, we're gonna go through how to get FUBAR to show uh, what music or what song you're playing right now on your live stream with OBS. Uh, so the first thing we do is we download FUBAR, which you can do at FUBAR2000.org. Just go to download and download latest stable version. I'm gonna do all of this because well you'll standard portable you can decide I'm gonna use standard just because. Uh, remember where you installed it because you will need that later. Uh, this is whatever you can choose full normal I'm just gonna keep it at normal everyone knows how to install a program nowadays and we don't run it yet and now we need to go to um, the Wikipedia for uh, the plugin which is uh, let me just copy and paste this I will show you on screen or in the description or everywhere um, and all we need to do is download this plugin you get it up as a as a DLL. Let's close that for now. Extract this. I'll just put it right here for now. And this one, you need to either copy or just cut it like I just did. And I'm going into computer. Oh shit! Everything is on my second monitor. God damn it! it was here and it was in Fubo, right? There we go. And you need to put it into the components folder and just copy and paste it or cut it and paste it like I did. Uh, that means the plugin is installed for OBS and let's see how this works with I haven't started OBS yet but hopefully that won't do anything more than to do this. All right. Let's just make a new scene because and add software capture screen. Oh shit! Screen. My first monitor capture mouse. Blah blah blah. Uh, let's do preview. So this is my screen, and now it will show you everything. Uh, <coughs> what you need to do now is you need to start FUBAR. I'm starting FUBAR. And this is just first time you start it. Uh, it will ask you what kind of layout you want, tabs, whatever. Uh, I usually, hmm, let's see, how do I usually have this? I think I have it like this. No, like this. This is how I usually have it. Simple playlist plus tabs because I never watch FUBAR when I play songs unless I want to I let OBS do everything or the plugin rather show the songs it's okay now I don't have any songs here let's let's check uh, hmm where have I my where do I put my music I forgot so I I've downloaded every no not every I've downloaded some monster cat musics mu musics music uh, from their website, but I don't u use iTunes, so yeah. And by the way, uh, I have the permission to play Monster Cat songs on my stream, and whatnot. So this is the Monster Cat songs. Uh, let's make this a bit smaller. What you need to do now is you need to set up uh, Fubar and and the play ocean and the plugin. And the way you do that is, uh, you go into. Uh, let's see. I should know this. Um, you should go into file. Is that it? Oh shit! I should have. I've done this so many times, and now I can't even remember. That's awesome. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, so you go to File, Preferences, that's how you do it, yeah. Uh, go to, let's see, Tools, 
now playing sample that's how you do it let's do that again file preferences tools now playing sample if you can't find now playing sample that means you didn't install the plugin at the right place so you need to do it in a components folder for uh, foobar and you should uh, you should uh, make a file wherever like uh, let's do it in my documents and let's just create a file call it whatever you want um, I usually call it play playing now and just hit enter that's all you need to do close that you need to press those three and find that file which is right here press save do you want to replace it just because we already created one um, I usually leave this this at default you don't have to but you can configure it however you want but I like the way the way this shows when I use it at inside of um, OBS now some people say that they like this one better and I will also post that in the description um, like it just depends on what you like what you don't like how you want it to show up and you can find these at the foobar forums people will if you ask for help they will help you um, and this one shows you uh, artist uh, title and when something is played or paused it shows artist tag if it's available if you don't know what I'm talking about just ignore it like you don't have to know anything but people like this one I like the standard one so let's just use this because it's a lot smaller and it's a bit easier um, after that just press OK and if we do this, oh, it would probably be very loud. Uh, set it somewhere here just because. Um, now there's a song playing. I don't think we can open the, that file now. Oh, yeah, we could. Yeah, as you can see, it. Helberg, follow my heart. If we press here and check, follow my heart, Helberg. So it, it works. Let's just stop that. And what I usually do is just I leave it like this for it to take up as little space as possible, something like that. And I just put to put it on my second monitor. You don't even have have to have it up, but you can minimize it. But whatever. And to get it to work on here, you need to go into Add. You need to add text. Uh, playing now or music or whatever you can name it whatever you want and now you need to click this option right here use text from file press browse select the file press ok and that's pretty much it you can uh, you can add scroll speed and stuff and we'll configure this more uh, after I have showed you one more thing so because I don't like to have text like just rolling on my um, on my screen I oh shit, we need to configure it somewhat press this one make this 300 for now and put it down here uh, oh yeah I know why um, we need to press play and I will mute this pretty much put it on my second monitor for now as you can see it's very small but ignore that for now and this is what I do I use uh, monster cat nah, bg background I browse from my file which you can do with photoshop you can do you can do whatever I I've set up mine a long time ago so you can see I have this little box. Let's just put it here. For slide it over here. Now 
you won't be able to see anything. That's why you need to go to properties, switch um, color. Let's uh, let's do 35. See how that shows up. Oh, I know. Why. I need to have this uh, above. And as you can see, it shows me the song. If I change song, it's changed. And that's pretty much how you do it. And you don't have to have this box with monster cat or whatever. I just that's how I like it. And this one, you you pretty much need to take this one. Use custom text extents and bump up the font size. And I I usually use scroll speed because the song names are often pretty wide. Or yeah, so you don't have to have this at like maybe 600 as you can see uh, if I would have had it like this I wouldn't have needed the scroll but 300 it's because that's how wide my the black box is and I usually set this to 50 because when I do that I put it down here oh, crap. Uh, leave it like that for now it's not that important and let's bump the scroll speed. And I usually add one more text. Um, music. Let's change this to white as well. Okay, use this one. Uh, to, no, to 98. 50. And playing now. Let's put this at 35 as well. I, again, you don't have to have it at that, but I just like it. And that's pretty much the easy way. You can highlight every one of these and then you can move everyone. I usually have it like down in the corner or up at the top or whatever. But that's how you do it. I will post every, um, every link in the description so you know how to download, where to download it, and stuff like that. And thanks for watching. Uh, there will be, there will probably more be more tutorials out soon. And uh, take care.